Morning guys, YouTube, people, world, everywhere, everywhere, anyway, uh, morning, welcome back to the channel, Half Fast 719, uh, back at it, I'm home, I've been working in Bakersfield, California, uh, I'm wore out, uh, my supervisor's a bonehead, all I can say is he's doing some unsafe stuff and I have to yell at him, call him out on it, and he gets mad at me because it stops production, but, you know, safety is first. Safety is always, 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 always safety. So, uh, anyway, had to stop, uh, had to stop the line a bunch of times because of this guy. And, uh, it held up production, but I don't care. Because I'm not getting fired again, and I'm not going to have one of my guys getting killed because he wants to rush people and he wants to get up on the tracks with no protection. So, me and him got into arguments, and he didn't like it uh, when I called him out on it, but he has to like it, and he thanked me afterwards, and then did it again the next day, and then did it again the following day. So, constantly yelling at him. And uh, we had a lot of overtime, and we had some triple time. We had five hours or four hours or three hours. I don't remember what it was of triple time. Um, but anyway, so I came home last night. I was supposed to be driving to Colorado, but my brother said it's snowing. Um, so I rearranged my flights. Uh, my flight back home. I was going to go out there, swap everything over on the fourth gen. And ended up not doing that. Changed my flight this morning and uh, decided to stay home and relax because I'm wore out, I'm beat I'm the foreman, I'm supposed to just be walking back and forth walking, checking, making sure everything's getting done but I ended up being the one doing all the work and it kind of bugged me, but whatever anyway, we won't get into all that uh, yeah, so I am home started doing some laundry and ran into this problem here. We got water shooting clear all the way back here because it's my fault. Wife was doing laundry. She said, "Oh, it's been it's leaking a little bit." Anyway, that's not a little bit. It's a lot. Anyway, so uh, started doing laundry just to see if it was how much it would leak, and it just started dumping water. And uh, I guess she did three or four loads of laundry and uh, I don't know when it started it could have started leaking on the fourth load could have started leaking on the first load I don't know but it's probably my fault because I put this hose rerouted the hose and I think I shoved it in there too far and it started rubbing on the on the pulley and on the drive and she was saying that it started making noise like when she would take clothes out she would spin the barrel and it was making noise, but it was making noise because it cut a hole in here. So, <clears throat> show. Let me see if I show a little video of what happened or what it's doing. So, that's what it was doing. Just dumping out. So, anyway, I got that on my list today now. That was unexpected, but. I was supposed to be in Colorado, so I'm good. So, gonna get some rest this week. Um, I get seven days off because today I did a vacation day. But anyway, so I got the I got a couple things. I got the new newest girdle, and it's dirty, but it is okay. There's no cracks, dents, twists, marks. There's nothing on it. It was just pulled from an engine and it's nasty, it's dirty, but whatever, it's it's good. It's in good, good, good usable condition. So I'll probably put that on today. And uh, yeah, and then uh, button up the bottom end with the oil pan. And then that way that's done. I can start putting away uh, tools, parts, pieces, and start buttoning up some other stuff. Um, 
and yeah, I don't know. Um, I also have another part <coughs> uh, from OBD11. It's not. It's it's just a scan tool. It's OBD2, but they call it OBD11. It's a scan tool. Um, small, fast, wireless scan tool. They only have the app on Google Play. So I have to download that app on Google Play. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'm going to be doing a uh, product thingy on that uh, for my Audi. There's some stuff that I guess it's called coding for Volkswagen or Audi or maybe for even more vehicles. But I'm going to do some coding stuff on it. I'm going to do some videos. Videos on coding it. Uh, you can change like lights. The way the blinkers blink. Instead of them flashing you can have them, you know, like... Like Knight Rider, I guess, where they swoosh across. Um some other stuff like you can change I su I think you can change to when you shut the car off the mirrors will fold in um, you can also uh, do a setting to where you change the color of the car so it'll you can change it to white to red just kidding can't do that anyway and my brother-in-law's got a uh, Volkswagen e-golf so it's electric golf so we'll do some videos of his uh, e-golf doing some stuff to his I got a buddy who's got a couple um, he's got a Jetta TDI um, and he just bought another TDI I don't know what it was but I, I think it's a Jetta he's a Jetta guy it's a Jedi um, but anyway so I'll probably be doing some videos he wants to start a YouTube channel uh, I don't know what, what he's gonna call it um, but, uh, he's a high school friend of mine, and he wants to start a YouTube channel, so I'm sure I'm going to try to help him out, get him started, plug in his name here and there, and, uh, and then my sister-in-law's got a, uh, Jetta TDI, and her husband, I guess, wants to do some stuff to his, so, but we'll see, I don't know, I don't know if I'll even film it or anything, I gotta read up on it on how to code it, how to do everything. So, but yeah, in the meantime, I got that uh, girdle to put on the motor. I'll show you guys the motor. So, I kind of don't even want to put the wiring harness on it. It makes it look all nasty. <clears throat> but I got all the fuel. I don't know where I left off. Got all the fuel stuff on. I cleaned it all up. Um... I don't know, I think it looks pretty neat. Oh, I don't know if I did a video on that, but I, I got rid of all this. So they had a, you know, a bunch of blockage, like this, like this. They had one over here. They had a part going all the way across. Um, I ended up cutting it all out. I took a Dremel tool. I took that Dremel tool and just uh, finished it all up. So it's wide open plenum. So, uh, yeah, <clears throat> I don't think I did a video on that because it was like eight o'clock or something at night when I was doing it. You can see all the metal shavings. So all the aluminum, all this nasty stuff. So all that I got to clean up. Uh, my garage is a mess. I have all this to clean up. Yeah, it's a lot, a lot of junk I gotta do. So, um, but yeah, that's where I'm at. I gotta put the timing cover on. So, it'll, it'll get. I still have enough to do a 24 part video for the 24 valve, six, seven Cummins. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go hang out in the house a little bit for a little while. Might even crash. Might even fall asleep again. And then uh, maybe come back out here. I gotta wait four to six hours for this stuff to dry. JB welding it, and then I'm gonna wrap it with some wrap it really tight with some duct tape. It should hold. It should be good. Um, 
And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to put that motor up for sale on OfferUp and Craigslist. And, uh, or if you guys are interested in buying this motor, you guys let me know. And uh, I'll mention it in the next video. But anyway, alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you guys give me a like. You guys comment below, subscribe, hit that bell notification so when I put up a new video. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Later.